So we'll continue to stick with it. For those of you that have, for those of you that just uh, recently joined us, we had uh, a successful liftoff of the eighth test flight of Starship, followed by a successful a successful stage separation. We saw the booster actually. You can see it just behind us here. Uh, the booster had a successful catch back at the tower. Um, unfortunately, it seems as though we lost the uh, uh, the attitude control of the ship. We are standing by as we listen in with the teams on the nets to understand uh, what information we're able to provide you. We will provide that as soon as we are able, um, but it's pretty incredible to take a moment and see <laughs> the booster just behind us. Certainly yeah. a different view than last time. And at this point, we've essentially lost contact with the ship. We're no longer receiving telemetry at this moment. So we were only about 20 seconds away or so from the end of that ship ascent burn. We saw several of the engines start to cut out. Uh, once you lose enough of those center engines, you're going to lose attitude control. And so we did see the ship start to go into a spin. And at this point, we have lost contact with the ship. So uh, we're going to listen in for a little bit. Just I think it's pretty obvious we're not going to continue the rest of the mission today, but uh, just give us a couple more minutes. We'll bring you more information as it comes in. All right, so coming back with you real quick. So can confirm we did lose contact with the ship. Um, unfortunately, this happened last time too, so we've got some practice at this. Now we've got a lot of measures in place, like debris response areas where we coordinate very closely with air traffic control. We have a lot of measures put before we 
ever launch a rocket to make sure that we're keeping the public safe. Those worked last time, and they're actively in work right now. So just to recap real quick, everything we saw, we lifted off right at the top of our window, essentially at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. Booster was able to get us all the way up into space, made its way back here. It's sitting on the tower right behind us, our third ever catch. Starship ignited all six of its Raptor engines. It was just about 20 or 30 seconds away. We'll get exact times from the end of its ascent burn when we started to see some engines go out on ship, eventually lost attitude control, and then lost contact with the ship shortly after. So obviously a lot to go through, a lot to dig through. We're going to go right at it. The primary reason we do these flight tests is to learn. We have some more to learn about this vehicle. But we're going to be right back here in the not too distant future and we're going to get a ship to space. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We fly to learn and we're learning a lot. And as is the case with developmental programs such as the Starship program, progress isn't always linear. So at this point, we're going to close out our webcast for the day. But before we do, we'd like to give a shout out to our viewers, of course, as well as our partners, uh, both here in Cameron, excuse me, here in Cameron County and around the world. Now, once we know more about the um, mission today, we'll provide you with updates on SpaceX.com as well as at SpaceX on X. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Space Google Viser YouTube channel.